Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and we are going to be looking at how we can do some tips or ideas for your practical assessment task, your PAT for IT and just to, straight off the bat, this is not in the rubric, you do not need to do this. I just thought this is a nice little cool feature that you can add. So once you have finished your PAT and you've hit all the other marks, this is something that you can maybe look to to add a few extra features that will add some extra functionality just to help you get those extra marks. So let's see what this text to speech feature does. Now the text to speech feature is basically a way of making your Delphi program actually say text to the user. And this is particularly useful, particularly if you've got someone that maybe has got a disability or has got visually impaired and they just, you want them to move their, the cursor over a button and then it'll tell the user what that button's going to do. So you can use it in lots of ways. Um, but before we get to the text feature, I was going to show you another option that's available. For example, people who, who can't or don't know what the button's going to do, for example. And that is your, if you click on a button and you come here to the properties, if I come down a little bit down, you might come across what's called the uh, hint. That's what we're looking at. So the hint, so go to admin and you can actually type in like, uh, go, um, go to set all features i'm just typing some random text there okay so go go to set all features now what that does is a little box will pop up when your mouse is over that particular button none of these buttons don't do anything um it's just for example sake but if i run the code and i've set the hint and i move my mouse over it it doesn't do anything and that's because you don't just set what the hint is you actually need to come further down to where it says you must show the hint so we, yes we want to show the hint please and so now when i run it if i move my mouse over the particular button it actually has some text that pops up what, of what it's going to do so a nice little feature where you can add some extra information okay so sometimes you could use your text to speech option to combine with the hint so that you can say the hint so that is a feature that is available so how do i get delphi to speak to me well, the first, there's a couple of steps. So the first step is right here at the top. We need to add a library file. It's the com obj library file. So that is your step one. So I'm just going to make notes here so we can see add the com obj file. Okay, data file. So once we've got that, um, we can now create a particular type of variable. So let's say we want the text to be able to say something when our mouse is on that particular moves over that so when i click on the mouse i want it to actually when on mouse on drag with on mouse enter let's look at the options available on mouse there we go i think it's on mouse enter when the mouse enters the button or comes over the button we want it to do something so let's do yeah we want it to uh let's what are we going to call it uh, just again okay, you just press double click on it so we go to the so there is the procedure. This is the event that's going to trigger when the mouse is over the admin button. And so what I need to do is I need to first create a particular type of variable. I'm going to call it OV read and it is of type OLE variant. So OLE variant. Okay. So there's our object that we've created. Okay. So that would be your step two, is to create the OLE variant variable. And then we need to instantiate this variable. So OV read is equal. Now it's done slightly different to objects. You go create OLE. You'll see there should be an OLE object option, create OLE option. And it needs a string for what uh, for the, the class name, so we want this particular class S A P R dot S P voice. So that's what you type in. So this is step three. And what are we doing? We are instantiating. Instantiate. I don't know how to spell instantiate. Instantiate the object. And then now we can actually do something. So we can say O V read dot and there is a dot speak okay i know it's not on the list but we can say dot speak and we can give it whatever we wanted to say so we can say sets the features from the 
administrator side. It's a lot of text you say. So let's so you give it some sort of text. And so let's go test to see if it works. So I'm going to click on the or move my mouse over the button. It's sets the features from the administrator side. So there we go. Did you hear that? Let me try it again. Sets the features from the administrator side. So there we go. So you can see how it works. So that last step is to use the so step four is to use the speak method with a string. Okay. So the only problem with this is that you don't want to be doing this code every single time. So a suggestion that I would do is that I would actually make a procedure and you use you do all that inside the procedure. Say allowed. Let's call it say allowed. And we're going to give it a particular string as a parameter. So S text of type string. So I'm making a procedure here. Control Shift C. And so what I'm going to do with this feature is I'm actually just going to copy all these steps here. I'm going to make all these steps, boom, and I'm going to put them here. So we're going to create the OV read OLE variant. We're going to instantiate it with the SAPR SP voice, and then I'm going to make it say whatever the text is that is the parameter so now what i can do is if i want to click on the button and for it to say something all i have to do is call my say aloud procedure and then i can give it the text that i want to say uh, you clicked on the register button okay so we can do that oh, so let's try that out so if I, it doesn't do anything when my mouse is over, but when I click on it, you clicked on the register button. There we go. And so for any of these buttons, all I have to do is say aloud in the text. And what's nice is if you've set your hints properly and you wanted to say the hints, then all you have to do is say aloud and the button dot hint property, and it'll say that particular property. So for example, if we go back to this button, if we go back to its the administrator part let's take all of this out we don't need this anymore because we put in the say aloud function or procedure sorry so i can just say aloud and now i'm going to say this button dot the hint so whatever the hint is i wanted to say that hint so that way you can just set your hints and then it will say whatever that hint is go to set all features so there we go it might not pronounce everything correctly, so try to use uh, very clear English and clear, uh, simple words, and then you'll get that feature working. So that's a nice little feature extra that you can add. Just a reminder of the steps. First of all, you need to add the com obj at the top to your libraries, and then wherever you are using it, you will declare an OLE variant uh, variable. You will instantiate the variable with the create OLE object in sapr.spvoice, and then you use the dot speak feature with the text that you wanted to say. As I said, my suggestion is to make a procedure that does all that. And then you just call that procedure every single time. That way you can hit a lot of marks, for example, for extra features. But you're also hitting a lot of marks, for example, for using uh, functions and procedures. So there we go. Nice little tip that you can do to your pet. For other RT tips, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, go to our playlist, there you'll find the list of all the videos for RT tips. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.